Hello blessed souls, welcome to the Brainy Twin channel. I'm Brainy Twin Gemini and if you're new to this channel, we talk about spirituality, twin flame dynamic, the law of attraction. I give collective messages for the twin flame community and we, um, my twin and I, have been blessed with very powerful gifts of intuition and we like to give these gifts back to you. And what I normally do is I do pen to paper and I get messages primarily every single day. I've stepped away, I've been on a sabbatical, I've been growing a spirituality and growing my intuition and my gifts. And now I've come back to give you these valuable gifts back. So I'm doing things differently now. Um, before I used to, you know, flip cards and the cards always resonated with my journal and I strictly did it out of entertainment purposes. But I found that while I was doing the actual video, um, they became a, a distraction. So I'm still going to do it, but I'm just going to show the cards in a different manner. And yeah, so that's kind of where, where I'm at. Um, I wanna go over a few things today. And one of the things that I've been seeing quite prevalently lately is the number 717. Now 717 is a very significant number in the twin flame journey. And if you're seeing this number predominantly, it could mean that you're coming back into reunion. That's what this number means. Last week I gave a message on karmic endings and I, like, I, again, I was not in, in like it seemed like I was bitten to give that message because I feel some of you um, are feeling a little bit defeated and deflated because the distance is excruciating. I, I've been there and thankfully we came back together and we came back together in September of 2020. But I feel like a lot of the Twin Flame community is going to come back in to Unity in September. For some reason I just feel like that's the month. So always follow your intuition if your gut is guiding you let it guide you and just like i said just follow your intuition 717 very predominant 888 i've also been seeing um doves doves are a sign for me um, that i'm a messenger on this journey and i'm meant to deliver these messages to you but it's also maternal it's it's love it's harmony it's peace and it's one of the most beautiful um, signs of this love, the dove. So again, these um, are messages that I'm meant to deliver to you. So the dove, 717, 888. Like I said, some of you are just in crisis mode right now. And, you know, it's, it's a difficult journey. I'm not going to lie, but it, you know, you just have to work on and keep loving yourself. So I'm going to get started. Um, what I normally do is I, I, nor I do the, the, the masculine energy. And the reason being is my energy is predominantly masculine. And my messages are from a, uh, from a masculine perspective. But I do it for the Twin Flame Collective community. And whatever resonates, resonates. What doesn't, doesn't. Kindly just pack it away. If you have feedback for me personally, kindly send me an email. I will welcome back any feedback. So again, I want to thank you all so, so much. And I wish you nothing but blessings on your journey. So what I do is I do four cards because four is my birth number. And I do the current masculine energy. So where are they now? And then I will do a... Uh, masculine message to the divine feminine then i have energy oracle cards which is the overall energy of the twin flame collective as of now and then i do wisdom oracle and today i feel like i need to do some healing cards so i'll do those healing cards and then i'll give you loving messages at the end so i'm going to get started i'm going to ask for four cards And again, these messages are for you. What resonates, resonates. What doesn't, doesn't. And the way I do it, if, 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 if you're new to the channel, I let either one card or four cards fall. And the first card, and then I'll go over the message. So this is, again, the the overall energy as of now, live in the moment, 
We don't live in the past, we don't live in the future. And it's pretty much exactly what I just said. Um, but like this stuff never ceases to amaze me. <sighs> okay, I'm asking for two cards, one card please. Sorry, that's three. So this pretty much resonates with everything I just said. Um, and this is the masculine energy as of now. So this is their heart and their headspace as of this moment. So when I said the number 717, I said coming back into reunion and the distance, communication. So the, the masculine energy desperately wants to communicate with you. And the spying card has come out as well. So they may be spying. Um, and you may feel that sense of spying, you know, sometimes, believe it or not, you have this sense that they're watching your, your social media accounts or vice versa, you're watching theirs. Sometimes um, the universe puts angels in your path and those angels are meant to keep you on that path. So if, I, I know it sounds strange <laughs> and I don't know why that message is coming out right now. Um, again, everything comes to me, but um, these there's communication, but there's some spying going on, and yeah, I feel like they're just they're just kind of watching you, and you may get that sense of them or that aura or that energy that they're watching you. Sometimes, as I said, angels are placed there to give you that persona that they are spying, but sometimes it's because they don't want you to give up on that connection. So you feel that energy as if there's spying going on. I've got the soulmate card here and I love this card because this is such a beautiful connection. It's one of the most blessed connections that you will ever encounter in this world, universe, earth, whatever you, you want to call it while we're here. And I always resonate this card with a soulmate, twin flame connection. So people, you know, and again, if you have your, your opinions, kind of keep them to yourself. This is a loving community. We support each other on the path to enlightenment and on the path to each other. But the soulmate and twin flame connection, I believe they're simultaneous. Some people say, no, you get, people get confused with a soulmate and twin, twin flame. Your twin flame essentially is your soulmate as well. Now there's soulmates out there that are, they come into your life to give, teach you lessons teach you lessons and a soulmate could be considered a karmic but the way I look at this card I see a boy and a girl with their arm around each other and this love stems lifetimes now to give you an example my twin and I we went to um, I forget where we were and we were dealing with this individual and he said how long have you guys been together and we were apart we've been apart more than we have been together um, and we said well we've known each other for three years but we've we've you know we didn't tell them the whole logistics of everything because specific a lot of people don't under, understand this connection and he and he said it seems like you guys have been together for a very very long time and we just looked at each other and we're like we're we're from a past life both of us said it so I feel the soulmate card is very significant, the offer card. So this is a very, very beautiful message. And again, it's energy. You could be predominantly masculine energy inhibiting a female body or predominantly feminine inhibiting a male body. It's all where you are through the journey, but there is an offer coming. And, 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 I, and I believe it's because a lot of these cycles are ending, these karmic cycles. You know, I think I've told you before, to the day I had this very, very, very strong pull of energy and it, it was um, in August 27th, I won't, I won't forget the day because I wrote it down in my journal, and it was that exact day that my twin ended with his karmic in August. So I feel like there's very, very, very good things coming. The most important advice I can give to you 
is do you. Put yourself first, because that's exactly what I did. So now I'm going to give you a special message from the, ma uh, from the masculine. And just know it's equally as hard for them as well. You've got to also to identify where you are in this journey, whether you're predominantly masculine or you're predominantly feminine, because it's, it really does make a difference um, if you understand that energy frequency on how this connection evolves forward. Two cards, please. So the first card I have here, and, and again, you'll see it all in the slideshow. You have me lost in, in my emotions. This isn't an easy journey for either one of you. You simultaneously transfer back and forth between the masculine and feminine energy. It's confusing. You go through all of this, like awakening, endings, karmic cycles. It's, it's, but primarily they're lost in emotion because of the love that they have for you and the lack of understanding of that love, but it's beautiful. I dream of you, you dream of each other. And what I was saying last week is there's a lot of lucid dreaming going on between both twin flame um, energies, masculine and feminine energy. When that lucid dreaming occurs, that could be a prelude of that physical distance ending. I know for 100% certainty it happened in my case. There was more frequent lucid dreaming and and we did come back together in physical reunity so some of you are dreaming but they dream of you and they dream of the life that they want to have with you um i feel like i'm obsessing over you i feel like i'm obsessing over you kind of resonates with the spying card because when you came into their life you turn their world upside down and inside out and they've never felt a, even remotely close about anyone as they did about you and even though they're closing up some of those karmic cycles they still don't want to lose that um that i want to say lifeline but that 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 cord right so they they're they're spying and they're obsessing but they know that they can see that there's 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 you in their life in in you know the the end game i guess i wouldn't want to say game but um and you're my future wifey so this is all excellent um they see you in their future and you coming in to their life was forcing um them to look at their karmic karmic situations and ending anything toxic that wasn't working but it also did the same for you and it's beautiful and I love it so that's a message for you um, feminine energy so now I'm gonna go over to um, the actual energy the overall energy of the twin flame collective and their their um, energy Oracle cards they're beautiful beautiful cards and they're beautiful beautiful messages and I'm gonna call that for four cards please and as I said if four fall out I'll take them cards I, I swear I get more entertainment out of these um, so the first card is contract and the way I see a contract I see it two. I see two two things as I was alluding to ending of karmic cycles marriages um, those contracts are ending but what I also do see is future contracts future um, weddings plans that's a contract a wedding or sorry a marriage license a marriage license is a wedding contract so i for some reason that contract to me is a marriage license either an ending 
of a con that particular contract or a beginning, if that makes any sense. I've got the first chakra, um, and that's Archangel Michael, and it's card number 35, and I love this. So it's the first sacra or chakra, which you have, some of you are having problems with your chakras in general. So when your chakras are blocked, you're not aligned with your energy. I put a 10 minute video out there, meditation video to clear your chakras, just do it. Clear your chakras, clear your mind, clear your chakras, clear them all. Because if you're not, if you're, like I said, if your chakras are blocked, you're not ener energetically aligned with yourself. And it's almost, it's difficult to energy align with that other, with that other soul. If you're blocked, if that makes any sense. Door, door number 34, um, door to personal healing and happiness. I love this. So these cards are crazy enough. Okay, so it's six and then it's 35, 34 and 33. <laughs> so like, I, I, I don't know, like it's just, it, it's, it's crazy, like I said. So the door to personal healing and happiness is number th 34 and however that rate resonates three or four or three and four is seven um but i i just i just see this like i see this happy ending for many of you many of you that truly understand what this journey is about it's i always say this is one of my you know I, I i beat this it's it's not the cinderella story it's it, it it brings you to places unknown places within your soul and, it, and you're meant to heal those those wounds that you probably didn't even know existed in the first place but there's a door to personal healing and happiness there's oodles of manifestation going on in the universe right now and i love it and lastly number 33 is the door to romance beautiful so i had the divine door um, I, again last week and I just feel like there's new beginnings there's doors opening and this is so beautiful and I am so incredibly happy for so many of you go through my walls go through my community um, like some of the posts you'll see people posting um, giving good news stories you know so I'm gonna give wisdom because these these cards are beautiful cards um, they, they totally remind me of my father. <laughs> God love his soul. Um, I feel like sometimes he's the one that's guiding me. music playing in the background for you <laughs> it's meant to be it's meant to be usually four cards please and I do have four thank you very much okay so I know I can't I cannot okay so this is such a such a such a great such a great so the first one is new life so as many of you know I can't cheat this even if I try nor do I ever want to cheat it even if I did try <laughs> these messages always resonate with one another and the last card was uh, new 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 life um, you know door to personal um, healing and happiness to me that resonates with the new life um, and the door to romance like there's a new life like your worlds are aligning and it's beautiful and I love it um, the tribe your soul tribe this is your your tribe is your soul tribe your soul family reach out to your soul family if you're having doubts or um, and let and and know that your soul tribe is is there to support you but I also see this soul tribe as with that contract and that new door opening door to romance I see the tribe 
attending some form of an event, and it's a beautiful, beautiful event. I love it. The yin sign. So I basically said at the beginning of this video that um, we have to, we, we simultaneously go between masculine and feminine energy, and you have to come to that healthy balance of that energy. This card is a reminder that you have to restore that balance within yourself. There's some blockages there. That's what Archangel Michael is telling you, specifically the sacral chakra. So please align those, um, please align those chakras to restore the balance, balance within yourself primarily and most importantly, because you have to be energetically aligned with yourself in order to energetically align with your twin. It's complicated, I know. <laughs> it's beyond complicated. Milk and Honey, number fifth, uh, 51. This is the most beautiful card in this deck. Milk and Honey means um, you're, you're, everything's coming into fruition. You're, you're, you're blossoming with abundance and prosperity and that, you know, the door to romance and all that healing. And, you know, it's, it's such a beautiful card. Milk and Honey, you're, it's all coming to you. The manifestation that you put out there You'll have the, all the milk and honey in the world. And I, and I love this one. I'm going to do the healing cards today because I feel like there's some low, vib low vibrational energy going on. And this is specifically if you're in that head and heart space. If it's not, just just kindly ignore um, and, and like ignore this portion of the video or just fast forward. Um, so I'm going to call out to my guardian angels or which I believe are my parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, for four cards, please. It's too many. Too little. <laughs> it's either not enough or too Like I said, if I take one or all four. So this, this part of this reading is what, as in the moment, like in as of now, um, and if you're watching this, um, chances are this message is for you. Um, and this is things um, that you need to work on. So I have, this is great, I love it all so much. Um, so the first card I have is the wild card. Um, wild, I have, this, this journey is, it kind of takes you on a wild, ride, a wild ride within yourself. And it takes you to places that you've never been before. It takes you to extreme darkness, and it also takes you to the light within. It's a wild ride. And some, not all, are manifesting some, some powerful, powerful, thoughts that are not in a great heart space right now um, like you're frustrated and challenged by the distance so you're taking that frustration out on your twin flame and believe me I know I've been there <laughs> but you can't sever that cord um, you know one moment you're in that loving energy and then in the next moment, it could be days later, you're in that not so loving energy and angry. And and it, that's just the healing process, believe it or not. You're healing and you're doing a great job. Self-love, uh, number 24. Self-love is the most important element on this journey. Believe it or not, you have to have love for yourself. And once you get to that self-love, you radiate love. You energetically radiate love. But you have to start with the love of yourself. When I was going through this and the distance and the pain and all of this grueling heartbreak, that's the one thing I made, made time for every day was self-love. And I used to do this mantra and it was, a, I, I love me, I love myself, I'm, I'm a princess, a goddess and a queen. And I used to do that a number of times throughout the day. 
and it just it's the power and the law of attraction the more you say it the more it becomes natural and the more you uh, love yourself say what you mean so <laughs> this card is exactly what it says say what you mean walk the talk don't talk the talk walk the talk so this is a tough journey and of not any not everybody understands the dynamic first of all of the energy the awakening everything that goes with this journey so um, when you're putting out into the universe say what you mean love self-love the last card is love and it's love 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 okay so that's your healing message for today and again what resonates resonates what doesn't doesn't and I'm just going to give you one loving mess two loving messages for the day for you to take I'm going to ask for one card please thank you very much and it says I'm so grateful for you my love you give so freely without condition life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love and lastly that's beautiful okay that's exactly it you give freely without a condition and that's what we're meant to do so right this one just flew on the floor so I have to grab it here and it says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it's the own for it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others self-love and I love that so much and that is just a reminder that self-love be true to yourself and then that radiates to others so i want to thank you so much for your your likes your comments your subs and if this resonates kindly like sub comment and if you have any questions for me kindly feel free to give me um send me an email have a great day folks